Now I can bet that you've probably heard the word antioxidants thrown around in a lot of health conversations. But what exactly are antioxidants? Well, antioxidants can be viewed as a protective system for the body. You know, daily, our cells endure damage from various sources, uh, including environmental pollution, psychological stress, and the inevitable aging process. Antioxidants shield your cells from damage, keeping you healthier from the inside out. Now, tea happens to be one of the most delicious and enjoyable ways to get these powerful compounds into your system. So in the next few minutes, I want to introduce you to seven amazing teas that not only taste great, but also provide a significant boost of antioxidants to your body. We're going to start off with one of the most popular ones, green tea. Now, green tea has been enjoyed for thousands of years, originating in China and gaining worldwide popularity. Now, it is special because it, its leaves undergo minimal processing, which helps keep many beneficial antioxidant compounds intact. The key feature of green tea is its high level of catechins, a type of antioxidant with epigallocatechin gallate, or as we normally call it EGCG, being the most common and well researched. Now, these compounds help neutralize free radicals in the body, which supports overall health. Studies show that drinking green tea regularly may improve brain function, help blood sugar control, and also reduce gut inflammation. Drinking green tea is also associated with a lower risk of heart disease and certain types of cancer. It may also protect the brain, potentially helping with conditions such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Now, to get the most benefit from green tea, you have to brew it with hot but not boiling water at about 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. Now, using water that's too hot can destroy some of the beneficial compounds in green tea. Our next tea is matcha. Now, matcha is a powerful form of green tea. It comes from the same plant, uh, Camellia sinensis, but has some important differences. With matcha, you consume the whole tea leaf instead of just the water it's brewed in. Farmers will typically shade the plants before harvest. This boosts the production of chlorophyll and improves the nutritional value of the leaves. They then grind the leaves into a very fine powder using traditional stone mills. Now, this special processing gives matcha a big boost in antioxidants. Research in the Journal of Chromatography shows that matcha can have up to 137 times more EGCG than regular tea because you're consuming the whole leaf, not just the liquid that, that comes out of it being brewed. Now, these high levels of catechins may help with weight loss, improve focus and mental function, and potentially reduce the risk of certain types of cancer. Our next tea is white tea. Now, white tea is the least processed of all the traditional teas and offers a unique set of antioxidants that distinguish it from other teas. It comes mainly from young tea buds and leaves with fine white hairs, which gives the tea its name. Now, because it undergoes minimal oxidation, white tea retains high levels of catechins and other polyphenols. Now, research in the Journal of Food Science and Nutrition shows that white tea extract contain less caffeine and antioxidant compounds than green tea. Kind of surprising, but that is what they found out when they did the research. So what this suggests is that the gentle processing of white tea helps keep delicate antioxidants that might be lost in teas that are processed more heavily. Also, if you are sensitive to caffeine, white tea usually has less caffeine than green or black teas, while still offering impressive antioxidant benefits. Another study in the journal Food Chemistry found that white tea extract is good at protecting normal cells from DNA damage and can slow the growth of different types of cancer cells. Now, the researchers believe that these effects come from the unique antioxidants that are found in white tea. The next tea is black tea. Now, black tea is arguably the most popular type of tea in the world. It is known for a strong flavor and it's a fully oxidized tea derived from the Camellia sinensis plant. Now, this oxidation process transforms the catechins into theaflavins and theorubigins, which are potent antioxidants that contribute to black tea's health benefits. Regular consumption of black tea has been associated with several health advantages. A study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine found that individuals who drank two or more cups of black tea daily had a 9 to 13% lower risk of mortality 
mortality from all causes, including cardiovascular disease and stroke, compared to non-tea drinkers. Now, this association was most consistent for those who drank tea without added sugar or added milk. So uh, maybe that's the cue there. It's okay to sweeten it, but don't overdo it. Black tea may also support heart health by improving blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Now, in terms of weight management, a study conducted by researchers at UCLA demonstrated that black tea polyphenols may promote weight loss by altering gut microbiota, leading to increased energy metabolism. Furthermore, black tea's antioxidant properties may contribute to cognitive health. A narrative review highlighted that regular consumption of black tea enhances endothelial and vascular health, which is crucial for brain function. Now, while black tea offers numerous health benefits, consuming it in moderation is important um, due to its caffeine content, which can affect individuals sensitive to stimulants. So generally recommended to limit it to about two to three cups per day. The next tea high in antioxidants is oolong tea. Oolong tea is partially oxidized, placing it between green and black tea in terms of processing and flavor. Now, this unique processing results in a complex profile antioxidants, including catechins from green tea and theaflavins and theorubigins from black tea. This combination provides a wide range of antioxidant compounds. Now, regular consumption of oolong tea has been linked to several health benefits. For instance, a study involving over 76,000 Japanese adults found that men who drank 240 milliliters or more of oolong tea daily had a 61% lower risk of heart disease compared to non-tea drinkers. Oolong tea may also aid in weight management. Its polyphenols are believed to enhance fat metabolism and increase energy expenditure. Some studies even suggest that drinking oolong tea can stimulate fat breakdown during sleep. Additionally, oolong tea's antioxidants may support brain health, reducing the risk of cognitive decline. Now, let's talk about rooibos tea. Now, rooibos tea, also called the red bush tea, is kind of different from regular teas because it comes from the Aspalatus linearis plant, which is native to South Africa. Unlike traditional teas made from Camellia sinensis plant, Rebus is an herbal tea. It has become popular worldwide due to its unique antioxidants and caffeine-free nature. Now, rooibos stands out because it contains special antioxidants, especially aspartame and nothofagin, that are not found in other teas. A study in the journal Food Chemistry found that rooibos tea has a mix of polyphenols that can effectively neutralize free radicals. Now, these compounds may help protect against oxidative stress, which can lead to many, many chronic health problems. The next tea is hibiscus tea. Now, hibiscus tea comes from the dry flowers of the hibiscus subdarifa plant. Although this is not a true you know, tea like green tea or black tea, hibiscus tea is rich in antioxidants, which makes it a valuable drink. Hibiscus contains anthocyanins, which is a type of antioxidant that are found in berries and other colorful fruits. A study in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry showed that hibiscus extract has strong antioxidant effect, especially against damage caused by hydrogen peroxide. One of the most notable benefits of hibiscus tea is its potential to lower blood pressure. One study found that individuals who drank hibiscus tea experienced a 7.2 point drop in their systolic blood pressure, which is the top number, compared to a 1.3 drop in those who consumed a placebo beverage. Hibiscus may also aid in weight management. Research has shown that consumption of hibiscus extract led to reductions in body weight, uh, body mass index or BMI as we call it, uh, body fat, and waist to hip ratio. Now, these effects are attributed to the tea's bioactive compounds, which may influence metabolism and fat accumulation. Now, I have a full video detailing the benefits of hibiscus tea. I'm going to link in the description as well as on your screen. Uh, if you have stayed till the end of this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy that one as well. So stay blessed and catch you on the next video. And thank you for watching.